To je taková trošku past tady na turisty, ne? Je to tak. This is a gold mine. Hello and welcome to Czech Republic. We just crossed the border from Austria. And if you're a foreigner entering Czech Republic, you need to buy a vignette for the highway, a highway sticker. And you will be guided by these official signs that will tell you payment, vignette. And they'll point you to that stand behind me right there. Now we spent some time here today and every car that pulled over here and bought the vignette, the sticker, we asked them, how much did you guys pay? And all of them said, we paid 17 euros. Can I ask you, how much did you pay for the vignette? Uh, 17 euros. 17 euros. And can I ask you, how much did you pay? Uh, 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Okay, kolik zloty? Kolik, how much? 80. 80? 17 euros. 17 euros? Danke. Now here's the issue. The sticker should cost 12.2 euros, so they overpaid it by 5 euros. How is that possible? Because the sticker, by law, cannot cost more. It can only cost the fixed price. Huh? Well, this place does not only sell stickers, it's also an exchange office. So if you come here with euros, they will first exchange the euros at a very bad rate to check crowns, and then with those check crowns, they buy the vignette for you. And on top of that, they will charge you 30 crowns fee for punching in your license plate of your car into the computer. Genius. My natáčíme s kolegou o tady prodej dániční známek na dolním dvořišti. Já vás, já vás slyším skvěle, my natáčíme, já vás slyším skvěle, slyšíte mě? Aha, tak já budu mluvit pomaleji a zřetelněji. My natáčíme o vaš... Já, slyšíme se? Já mám určitě, já mám, ano, já mám plný signál. Ano, já mám plný signál. Paní, paní Gravková? Kámo, tak to bylo nejvíc. But wait, the story continues and it's even more bizarre. The sign we just showed you actually doesn't point to this kiosk, but rather to the machine that's behind it, uh, sort of hidden. And that's where you can buy the vignette, the sticker. And you can also pay with your card there without any fees or markups. Yeah, I forgot to mention, this place does not take cards. So this 10 second walk from this booth to this machine can save you five euros on a single e-ticket for the highway and the story gets bizarre obviously because it wouldn't be us the machine is broken <laughs> like we're not making these things up but let's be fair since this year we have e-ticket like you don't have to have a printed sticker you can just scan a qr code or, or visit this website and it's super simple it will take you know a minute you fill out your email your registration plate on the car and you buy the ticket for 12.2 euros, not 17. I said this is one of the best traps I've ever seen, but uh, in this case, it's not really a trap because you don't need to buy the vignette. You can continue because there's no highway here. It starts further out. But if you enter Czech Republic from Slovakia, you are on a highway and you must buy it. You have to buy it. You legally cannot continue without buying it. And guess what's the place that sells you there the highway sticker? Yep, these guys. We moved to a different uh, border crossing. This is with Germany. And legally here, you cannot continue because it's a highway. So you have to buy the vignette. And the same company has a booth here where they sell it at actually even higher price than we showed before at 19 euros per 10 day vignette. And even here on this big parking lot is a official machine where you can buy it with your card easily. Well, it took us some time to find the machine. Let me show you. And here it is, the official machine where you can buy a ticket for the highway. It will take you less than 30 seconds to buy the ticket here, but you gotta find it. And that's the tricky part. By the way, you may be wondering, why did they put it here at the very end of the parking lot? Why not up front? Uh, well, you know, there may be some property issues. No, all this property is owned by the state, so they can easily put it out front. Not a problem at all and save a lot of people a lot of money.
And now since the ticket, the vignette is electronic, you may argue why don't people buy it right away on their phone and they don't have to go through all this hassle. Well, obviously they can. Some of them just simply don't know that we have an e-vignette. But here's the funny thing. I'll wait, that's all right. Here's the thing. If they actually Google search for Czech vignette, they will find a website that says Czech highway vignette, e-vignettes. You click it only to find out that a 10-day ticket, 10-day vignette, will cost you 19.7 euros instead of 12, what it should cost. To be completely fair, the first link that I clicked is a paid advertisement on Google, which is skipping the official website. And it's run by some Polish people, and they not only sell overpriced Czech highway tickets, but also Slovakian, Hungarian, Bulgarian, and so on. So always be careful when you buy a vignette in any country in Europe, always make sure you're on the official website. And this trap that we set up here for people coming from Austria has an easy fix. Just take that machine and place it in front of the kiosk. Problem solved. And it's all owned here by the state. The property is all owned by the state. The state rents this property to these guys so they can run their shady business here. You may be wondering how I got to this topic of this uh, company. Well, through this article. A woman from a small city in Czech Republic uh, throughout the four years brought more than 12 billion crowns into banks, just in plastic bags. Sometimes she brought even more than 100 million crowns in cash. In 2017, she was found dead. She was shot, found in a car on a forest road. So that's how I found out that she actually worked for this company that's doing this trick at the border crossings. I'm used to these tourist traps from big tourist cities like Prague or other major cities in Europe, but I didn't expect this to be happening at the Czech border. In other words, a foreigner is coming in and the first thing is a welcome slap into the face. Like, yeah, this is how we do it in the country. This is not how we do it in the country. Very few people do it. And while they do it, we're gonna be filming them. So when you road trip around Europe, uh, make sure you know how much is each ticket. Uh, give it a minute extra of Googling and don't fall into this trap or many other traps that are set up in this field. I myself have fallen for this when I was going through Hungary. Usually you're in a rush, you wanna buy it uh, and you make a mistake. This was a travel tip from The Honest Guys. My name is Yannick, that's my buddy Honza behind the camera, and I'll see you next week on another episode, most probably from Prague. And we're gonna teach you a Czech word, obviously, at the end, and this time it's Dálniční známka, which is a highway sticker or highway vignette. Dálniční uh, známka, highway sticker. Dálniční známka. <laughs>